I am Colby with Kansas Tourism and this is another episode of On the Road and to the Stars. This week I am exploring Little Sweden, USA. I can't wait to show you all the fun things to do while you're here in town. I'm going to do some shopping, I'm going to grab a bite to eat, I'm going to see how many wild dollar horses I can find, and then I'm going to end the day at Coronado Heights. Naturally, my first thing to do is do some shopping. I'm walking downtown. There's just so many neat businesses here from gift shops to boutiques, children's stores, art galleries. Uh, I just love coming down here. Uh, another great restaurant to check out here is Crown and Rye if you want a traditional Swedish dinner. I accidentally went into my favorite boutique here, Sister Bojangles, and then I accidentally bought something. <laughs> That's okay. If you're looking for dollar horses or just traditional Swedish decor, you have to stop in here at Hemsloyd. Before lunch, I also wanted to find as many wild dollar horses as I can. So I think I'm up to like eight or nine so far. If you're like me and like trying local dive bars, if you come to town, you have to try out Old Stuga. It is a classic and it's so much fun. It's time for lunch and coffee. Always time for coffee though. I am at Blacksmith Coffee Shop here downtown. I'm gonna order and then sit outside because it's a beautiful day. I ordered their lunch chicken salad sandwich and a side salad and it is hitting the spot. It is super delicious. As I was leaving lunch, headed to the car, I came across this bed and breakfast. I have to stay here. This place is so cute looking. I've made it to the entrance of Coronado Heights. The road's a little windy, but I just love right when it curves and you reach the castle. I think it's so pretty. Coronado Heights is the southernmost bluff in a series of seven known as the Smoky Hills. The hill is located northwest of Lindsborg. It is believed that Coronado and his men viewed the prairie from this lookout point, 300 feet above the valley floor. Chain mail from Spanish armor was found in the area by a Bethany College professor in 1915. Let's head into the castle. We're able to explore, and then there is a staircase inside that leads us up to the top in the viewing platform there. My favorite fact about the castle is it is made from native Dakota sandstone um, and it was built in 1936 as a WPA project. I've always loved this view up here on top of the castle. You can see for miles and miles and miles and it's spectacular if you can catch a sunrise or sunset here. There are trails throughout the property that you're able to hike. Uh, depending on the time of year, you'll see a variety of wildflowers and plants and maybe some wildlife as well. I'm going to take in this view and just relax for a little bit. Thank you for exploring Lindsborg with me this week. For more information, head to TravelKS.com and go to our Lindsborg City page. Thank you and I'll see you on the road next week. Brought to you by...